us for our word of the day. This morning, as we're continuing through the Bible, we're going to look at Ephesians chapter 4. The book of Ephesians is a wonderful book written by the Apostle Paul to the church at Ephesus. This church had been started by the Apostle Paul during one of his first missionary journeys. Uh, and the city of Ephesus was a, a very unique city. It was the worship epicenter of the Greek world. There were temples to all kinds of false gods there. And Paul spends two years uh, ministering there, witnessing to people, sees a large group of people saved, is able to establish the church before he moves on. And as he's writing to them, it's years later, he's in a Roman prison. And the letter has two purposes. The first part of the letter, chapters 1 through 3, is Paul explaining the gospel, the purpose of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, how God, way back in Genesis, had promised to send a Redeemer, and through Abraham had promised to make himself a large family made up of all nations of people who would come together to worship God and serve God. And he explains what the gospel does for us, how it redeems us, how it saves us, how it brings us into the family of God. Then in chapter 4, he begins to explain what the gospel does in our life, how the fact that we're saved by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, the fact that we've received the grace of God, how it should look in our lives, how it should change how we act, how we treat people, how we do everything in life. And look what he says in chapter 4, starting in verse number 15. It says, But speaking the truth in love, we may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ himself, from whom the whole body is joined together and connected by every joint and ligament, as every part effectively does its work and grows, building itself up in love. Now, Paul begins to explain that the gospel is meant to change us, and the gospel is meant to do a work in our life, but it's also supposed to help us speak truth to other believers who may be struggling and, you know, pointing out problems they may have, sins they may be dealing with, struggles they may face, but he says we're to do it in love. See, when we notice a brother or sister in Christ struggling with their walk with God, we may know some notice some sin they have in their life that they are refusing to confess and repent and they're allowing to take them down a dark path we are to as brothers and sisters in christ as children of god speak the truth to them warn them about the dangers of what they're doing about the dangers of the life they're leading the path they're walking down and remind them of the blessings of walking close to god and encourage them to get back in a right relationship to god but he says we speak that truth in love. Speaking truth in love is not gossiping about another brother and sister and what they're struggling with behind their back. It's not judging them. It's not looking our nose down on them because I can't believe they're doing that. I would never struggle with that. It's not running around to everybody else talking bad about them. It is going to them in love, in humility, and helping bring them back to a right relationship with God. Jesus talks about this in, in the Gospels. He says, before we are to judge a speck in someone else's eye, we got to pull the plank out of our own eye. So speaking truth and love, it takes some self-examination. It takes us looking at our own life and saying, God, is there anything in my life that's hindering my walk with you? Is there any unconfessed sin between me and you? Is there any bitterness? Is there any unforgiveness? Is there any jealousy or lust or anger or anything in my life that is hurting my relationship with you, that is hurting my relationship with another brother or sister in Christ, and we make sure we are right with God, then in the spirit of love, in the spirit of grace, in the spirit of Jesus, we go to the other brother and sister and we encourage them. We help them. Yes, we warn them. Yes, we preach the truth to them. But we do it in love with the purpose of reuniting them with the God the Father. Thanks so much for joining us for our word of the day. Be sure to be back here tomorrow as we continue through the scriptures. Have a blessed day.